Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can mute notifications during a Teams meeting. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now, what do I mean by mute notifications that you receive during a meeting? Well, essentially what this feature does is it allows you to actually change your settings so that you can suppress notifications that you receive during a meeting from either a chat message or a channel post where you're at mentioned. Now, by default, this feature is not enabled. So if you've ever noticed that you're in a meeting and you're actually still getting those little pop-up notifications in your Microsoft Teams application. This feature is essentially going to allow you to suppress those notifications so that you can participate in your meeting without any distractions. Now I'm gonna show you two ways that you can actually turn this feature on. There is a way where you can actually turn this on globally in your team settings, and this is going to apply to all the meetings that you're in. And you can also just toggle this on in a specific meeting. It will only apply to that specific meeting. And then after that meeting concludes, it's just going to revert back to the off status. Now, the last thing that I'm going to flag at this point in time is at the time of recording this tutorial, this feature is actually in public preview. It's not generally available. So if you're going to try and see if you can use this feature, unless you've opted into the public preview program, you are not going to have access to this. According to Microsoft, this feature should be hitting general availability in the next couple of months. So you wanna make sure that you hit that check for updates button regularly so that you can get access to these new features. Now let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now we're going to start off by looking at how to enable this feature in an actual meeting. Now, just again to reiterate, doing this in a single instance of a meeting is only going to suppress notifications while you're in that specific meeting. Once you leave that meeting, if you were to join another meeting, you're still going to receive notifications. We'll look at how to apply this globally in a second. Now, for demonstration purposes, what I've done here is I'm currently logged in as my colleague Diego, and I'm just gonna go ahead and send myself a message so that you can see that the notification pops up. There it is. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to turn this feature on. So from your meeting window, you wanna go ahead and click on the more actions button. And here you wanna come down and click on mute notifications. Now, once you turn this on, as you're gonna see in a second, if I go ahead and message myself here in my account where I'm impersonating my colleague, you're going to see that no notification pops up in the lower right-hand corner. So it has suppressed the notification. Now, if you wanna disable this again while you're in a meeting, you wanna click on the more actions button and you wanna come back down to the menu and you'll see here that now this option reads allow notifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And if I bring up the window here where I'm impersonating my colleague and I send this message, you're going to see that the message notification is going to show up again. So this is how you can enable this feature and disable it from within a meeting. And again, when you do it this way, it's only going to apply to that single instance of a meeting. Now, one more important note about turning this feature on directly in a meeting. Whenever you turn this on, it is only going to apply to you, meaning that you are no longer going to receive notifications. This feature is not going to automatically suppress notifications for all meeting participants. The way Microsoft positioned it is it's up to individual meeting participants to determine whether or not they want to receive notifications. Now let's go ahead and let's look at how to turn this feature on globally so that it applies to all of the meetings that you attend. All right, now to turn this feature on globally, what you want to do is navigate to your Teams interface and you want to scroll up to the settings and more button, which is these three dots here. You wanna go ahead and click on this and then you wanna go ahead and click on settings. Next, you want to click on the notifications group and you want to scroll down and you want to click into the edit button. And what you can see here is the first option reads mute notifications during meetings and calls. 
and you can see by default that this feature is toggled off. Again, if you want to mute notifications during all meetings that you attend and all calls that you participate in, you wanna go ahead and toggle this on. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically suppress notifications that you receive when you participate in any meeting or call. Now, while we're in this menu, just a few quick notes. You'll also notice here that you have some additional options. So by default, whenever a Microsoft Teams meeting that you are invited to or perhaps that you've scheduled starts, you may notice that you get that little prompt telling you that the meeting has started. Personally, I find that quite useful, but I also know that some users find it a little bit distracting. If you actually wanna go ahead and disable that, you can click into this option here and you can see that you have the option to turn it off. So if you set this to off, that's going to prevent you from receiving any of those notifications communicating that a meeting that you're a member of has started. Now the last option that you have here is to disable meeting chat notifications. Now you can see if I click in this drop down by default, the setting here is mute until I join or send a message. So let's say you're invited to a meeting and individuals jump on that meeting early and start chatting. You are not going to receive notifications until you actually join that meeting or until you click into the chat for that meeting and send a message. Now, if you don't wanna receive any of those notifications altogether, you can set this to mute and that's just gonna suppress all of the meeting chat notifications. Or if you do wanna receive all of the notifications for chats happening in meetings, whether you've joined a meeting or whether you're even attending that meeting, then you can go ahead and select unmute. And again, this is going to allow you to receive all of those notifications. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can mute notifications while you are in a Microsoft Teams meeting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.